Good morning on this Friday morning. November 20th is International Transgender Day of Remembrance, which we are remembering today in our chapel. And Transgender Day of Remembrance began in the late 1990s to commemorate the life of African American trans woman named Rita Hester, who was brutally murdered in Boston in 1998. Her death came just a few weeks after the murder of Matthew Shepard in Wyoming and that had roused a huge discussion on hate crimes against um, LGBTQ plus people in America. And yet Rita's murder garnered no response. So her murder and the lack of media attention to her death drove a candlelight vigil to begin in San Francisco the following year. And while we acknowledge that violence happens for many unjust reasons, Today we honor the lives of those who are victims of violence because of their gender identity and gender expression. So due to the widespread ignorance and erasure of the experiences of transgender and gender non-conforming people, this day is an important opportunity for us to intentionally bear witness to the hardships of the transgender and gender non-conforming community. So with that, we begin worship this morning with the confession and forgiveness that is printed in your bulletin. We offer up these words of confession and hear a word of forgiveness. Living God, we confess that we have taught human sexuality in ways that have promoted shame and embarrassment instead of power and beauty. We are truly sorry and humbly repent. We confess that we have misused the gospel of Jesus to decimate cultures and languages around the world and to condone oppression, racism, and misogyny for generations. We are truly sorry and humbly repent. We confess that we have heard God's creation of male and female as a binary set, one or the other, exclusive and simple which has underestimated the beautiful spectrum of God's image and condoned homophobia, biphobia, and transphobia. We are truly sorry and humbly repent. We confess that we have pitted the fullness and mystery of God's creative image against its own self, discerning beauty and value according to the norms of patriarchy instead of the teachings of Jesus. We are truly sorry and humbly repent. We confess that we have kept silent when oppressed people have asked the boy of Christ to say something with compassion and to do justice and mercy with our power. We are truly sorry and humbly repent. We confess on behalf of the whole Christian church that some of our history, our theology, and our leadership have caused people on the margins pain and suffering, and that we have chosen the status quo of our systems over protecting God's beloved people. We are truly sorry and humbly repent. For these things and more, we are truly sorry and humbly repent. If this is your confession, know that Jesus Christ came and died for us, and for his sake, God shows us mercy through the resurrection of Christ we have been set free. Yet in this freedom, we live in service to our neighbor. In our confession, may the church repent more boldly in these days, daring to practice what we preach, embodying humility in a proud and aching world, learning to trust that grace might be real for us too. Amen. And now let us pray. On this day of remembrance, we remember those who have been murdered for being who they are, those who face violence on a daily basis, and those who have lost loved ones and those who worry for loved ones. May we come to a time when we cease to shame children around gender roles and expression, where we allow for freedom and exploration of identity and expression, and to a world that operates from love especially when things are difficult and confusing. And may all of us who live with the threat of violence find support, strength, community, hope, and safety from violence. 
Amen. And our reading this morning comes from Genesis in the first chapter. Then God said, let us make humankind in our image according to our likeness and let them have dominion over the fish of the sea and over the birds of the air and over the cattle and over all the wild animals of the earth and over every creeping thing that creeps upon the earth. So God created humankind in God's image. So this morning, do you want to explain the music or do you want me to explain the service first? Okay. So we have a litany of names to be read this morning to remember um, those 46 transgender and gender non-conforming people that have died this past year due to violence who have been fatally shot or killed um, within this past year. So we light these candles and read their names to honor the lives of those who might otherwise be forgotten, like Rita, to restore dignity to those who have suffered extreme and humiliating violence, and to become more aware of who is most vulnerable in our communities, recognizing that the majority of these people that have died this past year were black or Latinx transgender women. So we recognize also that there are many diverse people gathered in this space today or online. And some of us may just be beginning to learn and understand the reality of violence against transgender or gender nonconforming people. So we pray for courage, open minds and hearts, and pray for persistence as we all continue on our journey. And some of us here may be gathered full of pain and anger knowing the reality of violence against transgender and gender non-conforming people deeply in our hearts. And so for that, we pray for love, healing, and injustice in the face of oppression, and keeping in mind that we are each created in the image of God, like Genesis says. I invite us for the next few minutes to sit in thoughtful reflection as Carson, Renee, and Catherine read aloud the names of the 46 people killed this past year, acknowledging there are far more people than what is just listed here. And Cynthia and Sarah will light candles after each set of couple names and continue in order to continue to let their lights shine um, and know that no darkness shall ever overcome it. So as you hear these names read, I invite you to honor their humanity with your love and prayers and acknowledge the gifts of the lives that were ended too soon because of hate, fear, and ignorance. Throughout, throughout this litany, we will respond with a short song. And I wrote this after the Pulse nightclub shooting um, to remember those who were killed that day. Tiana Alexander, Samuel Edmund Damien Valentine, Bianca Muffin Banks, Dominic Jackson, 50 Bands. Thank you. 
Tiara Banks, Natalia Smut, Iris Santos, Tiffany Thomas, Kiri Washington. Taya Ashton, Shay Vanderpump, Tierra Marie Lewis, Miss Coco, Pooh Johnson. now let us pray. God of love, you weep with us in our grief and fear. Enfold in your loving embrace all of those in our LGBTQ plus community lost to death this year. You know their names. Even when they are misnamed or misgendered, as a last act of violence or erasure. You see each one as beloved and call them by their chosen name. You claim them as your children. Give comfort to those who mourn. Give courage to our transgender and gender nonconforming communities in the face of cruelty and harassment. 
Bring to justice those who perpetuate this violence. Speak out for those who are silenced and stand with those who are bullied and be with those who face danger. God of wonder, you are beyond gender. You made each of us in your image. Be with us today and always as we long for a day when every individual is safe and known and honored. We ask this in the name of Jesus Christ, who brings us all together in one human family. Amen. We resist, we refuse to let hatred win. We rise up, we won't back down. We're in this till the end. We resist, we refuse to let hatred win. We rise up, we won't back down. We're in this till the end. Pray for. Now go in peace, remembering those who have passed before us. Amen. Thank you so much, guys.